Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Tirkumaran Haridas. Uh, I am an IT consultant with over 16 years of experience in the IT industry. I currently work as a lead software engineer uh, with uh, Build Home Site in Austin, Texas. Um, I'm going to cover uh, in this episode about how to access uh, Google BigQuery data uh, from Microsoft Excel. Mm-hmm. And you can reach me on my website uh, www.hstilkumaran.com if you have any questions about this episode. I will also post the video in YouTube and you can log your comments there and I will reply it. Uh, and a quick commercial before I go into the demo. Um, my friend Eric Brown and I have written a book called Learning Google BigQuery. And this book is for beginners to get started with uh, BigQuery. Um, it also shows and how to connect query with other services on the Google Cloud platform. Um, and I hope you will find this book useful. And uh, you can buy this book on Amazon, um, Barnes and & Nobles, and other major book retailers, as well as from Pat, uh, who is the publisher. Uh, hope to see you uh, reading this book and also uh, posting your reviews about this book on the sites. Uh, thank you. Now let's get started with the demo. Uh, the first step to uh, get this process started is uh, to install uh, Simba driver. Uh, this is provided by Simba Technologies Inc. Okay? And Google has partnered with them. Uh, this is the driver and it's available for Windows, Linux and Mac. And it's uh, one of the things that questions uh, most of them have is about license. So um, looks like this is free, uh, but I would like to Check that with the vendor and also check with your company's admin uh, to make sure you can use this product as per your company's uh, licensing policy. Um, and when I tried 64 bit, it did not connect with Excel properly, so I'm going to recommend you to download 32 bit version and try it. Okay. So uh, let's get started uh, by clicking on 32 and bit and then install it. I'm clicking on it downloading downloader so let me start the setup next I accept and then finish okay so uh, we have installed the driver so now we are going to verify if the driver is configured properly to work with Excel Okay. So I opened Excel and created a new workbook and under data, get data from other sources, Microsoft query. Okay. So this is the option. So data, get data, other sources, Microsoft query. And I'm going to click on this and I see Google BigQuery. So it's good. Now let's go to BigQuery, set up some data and come back to Excel and load it. I am in Google BigQuery now and uh, I have these data sets and I have chosen my test project. So I'm going to create a new data set for this training purpose. So BigQuery and this is optional, uh, but I'm going to express this in 10 days. Uh, so that way this is a demo, so that way I don't need to pay for it after 10 days. Mm. Click OK. Yeah, it created this. Okay. So now we are going to execute some sample queries to get create new tables into this and then see how we can pull it. Uh, Google offers uh, several public data sets for us to use. Uh, and just a word of caution if you run any query against this, uh, that will be built to the project from which you are trying to execute. Okay. So I'm going to use. Uh, one of these um, data sets called NYC TLC Green, which is a taxi trips, uh, so green line. And I'm going to take this table called 2014 uh, and I'm going to execute an aggregate query on this and then move that data into this data set uh, into a table and try to run queries against that and get it. Okay. And I'm also going to show you how to do um, the same thing from Excel. Okay. So 
let me go ahead and query the table and as I said I don't want anything and this is the query I'm going to execute and this query is in legacy format uh, so this is tick okay. so and uh, um, before I write any query in BigQuery I always use validator to make sure the syntax and everything is correct and also the amount of data so this is going to run uh, 967 MB of data so which is nothing for BigQuery so let's run it and then yeah so it displays the data uh, for the last 12 months so this is a rough query so we are going to modify it to add column names so you can see it returned all the data for uh, 2014 and this is the thing I already executed this query before this demo so that's why it is showing it is returning from cache and any query out that is returned from cache is not built so that is one advantage so let's go ahead and make this query format a little bit and then finish up the job to export this data to a table okay the query is now formatted and i ran it again uh, and again um, this is since i changed the column uh, names as alias the query was almost the same but i changed the column names uh, so it, it did not get it from cache this time so so if we change even a column name uh, it's a new query so as long as the query is exactly the same string uh, it will be retrieved from the cache but if it's if it is slightly different again it will be executed uh, fresh so i now have all the columns and you can see it has 12 rows so what i'm going to do right now is uh, i'm going to copy this into a temp into this data set so i'm going to click on show select table and this is the data set i want to copy and then i'm going to say trips summary that's going to be the name of my table click on this hide options and run query again so you can see this option so let's run it and yeah it's 2.7 seconds uh, same amount of data no change and now we have this here so we have 780 bytes of data number 12 and uh, 12 rows and this is the preview so if you are seeing the data in preview again google BigQuery is not going to bill you uh, so don't worry about that so the next step is how to connect this uh, to BigQuery okay. so we are going to write a select star query against this table in Excel and then uh, show all the columns okay so let's go there okay so let's connect to BigQuery um, again go to get data in the data tab other sources Microsoft query Google BigQuery click OK choose user authentication and then click sign in and it will take you to this so i'm going to log in and show you so yeah you'll be prompted to log in using the google account which is linked to the bigquery project and then once you are in it will give you a code like this so take this code and just it in your confirmation code and then it will automatically get a refresh token and once you're here make sure you choose a project so I'm going to choose uh, mine, uh, my first project, and then um, we are going to use standard or legacy, whichever you want. You can try it. Uh, that's not a problem. And again, we are not going to write any query. This one, we are going to use the GUI. So click on this, click OK, and then once you're here, yeah, it will show you. So you you in here, you can click options. And choose which data set you want the results from so i'm going to choose the bigquery to excel that's what i want and click ok and then it has only one table so i'm going to click all the columns and click next so if i want to do any filtering i can do it and if i want to do any sorting yes i'm going to sort by month yeah and then you're good so let's do this so here if you want to do some advanced edit you can choose this option but if you just want to doing some basic things just choose the return data to microsoft excel and then click finish so once i click ok you can see in the bottom it will start to run the query so it's running the query in the background and then it got all the data for you so here is the data uh, from the table okay so 
this is how you get started with excel and google bigquery and uh, we are done with the demo and if you have any questions post it and i will try to do the same using open office in linux uh, ubuntu bye